Hey everybody, this is Arathas, and welcome back to the Sinking City. So, I think this time we're going to focus on a few of the storyline quests. Now, there are a few other things I want to explore, but we'll kind of be using those as we come... We'll, ah, we'll be exploring those quests as we come across them, so extra hours through the looking glass. We'll just find them as we go through the main quest. So, like Bounty of the Sea, we already know one of them is over by the Asylum. So when the quest sends us towards the Asylum, we'll take care of it over there. So, yeah. All right, now let's get back to Fathers and Sons. Which we had to go through uh, Throgmorton's father's things to get any information on this quest. Uh, I can, but like I said, I'm not gonna, I kind of, that's one of my complaints about this game is I really don't like that things don't show up on my map unless I've got their particular quest, uh, marked down. I kind of wish these, uh, Oh, yeah. I just hate that these just disappear unless I'm focused on this quest. So if I'm doing the main quest, all the markers disappear for anything else. Kind of wish that wasn't the case. You know what I mean? Seems a little odd. Maybe they're trying to avoid the complaints that like Far Cry and Assassin's Creed games had recently with the whole, well, not recently, over the last couple of years where there's so many marks on your map, people tend to get overwhelmed. That could be it. But I'd rather have my map covered in stuff so I know no matter what, where I'm going. So I don't know. Just me. Uh, between Windswept and Justice on Inner Shrine. Ah. Inner Shrine. So pretty much just here. That is not what I wanted to do. Next. The single detached manor on Baker Street in Southern Reed Heights between Hurricane and Ambrose. Where's Ambrose? Oh, I didn't notice that. Al has Red Street. <laughs> <laughs> the Mad Arab, if I remember correctly, was what they called him. Supposedly the dude who wrote the Necronomicon. Hurricane and Ambrose. Where the bloody hell is Ambrose? Ah, uh, sure. Once I get uh, Dog is Happy, I need to... Uh, when I get back from my trip, I'll spend some time before that first stream back uh, to try to put to uh, slap together a well, not slap together, but to put together a starting soon screen at the very least. And I'll just leave that going for like five minutes before I start my stream. I've been wanting to, but I'm still not sure how to. I mean, that one would be fairly easy to incorporate as a scene into my software. So, yeah. I can do that. I mean, honestly, Baker Street isn't too big. So it probably is right around here. I just don't see Ambrose anywhere. Yeah, I can do that. Like I said, been meaning to. I just haven't had a chance quite yet to figure it out, so, yeah. So honestly, it could be over here. So probably this or this. Well, it's a detached manor, so it probably is this. Oh yeah, there is Ambrose Street. It's a big highlighted one. Cool. Okay. Yeah, uh, when we get to 
this area like we, we can pick those up fairly quickly i'm sure our quest will send us over here so we just need to remember the shells and reed heights as we go through the main quest yeah i can pick them up uh, i believe there's also another one i need to pick up that is clerk in the bank of oakmont the book was loaned for personal reading i imagine this is when we go to the oakmont library and that's where we'll find the um well, i guess town hall would also help us find this dude okay we'll have to go by the town hall because that's where they give us the property information but yeah let's go see what's going on down here yeah i just find it odd that the game hasn't sent us anywhere near the uh library yet but yeah it probably is town hall research because that's where we got the last address francis throgmorton discovers the unknown africa an ambitious expedition yeah. like father like son huh. curious craftsmanship this must be worth a fortune i'm looking sharp but i guess that's the point ha puns <laughs> good god dude Eighteen ninety one must have been a busy year for Francis. <laughs> I don't want to know why he has that picture considering his son. Francis Throgmorton's expedition to Africa has proven to be one of the most ambitious, if sadly unappreciated, undertakings of eighteen ninety one. He's returned with numerous historical artifacts, invaluable anthropological research, a newborn son. Oh Lord, that is what he did. Christened Robert, and a plethora of fascinating cultural insights. Today, today, in an exclusive interview with the Oakmont Chronicle, he has agreed to share some of those insights with us. Ah, so this is basically just shy of, well, I guess technically when we finish this, we should be about halfway through the main quest. Okay. Cool. Although I imagine they're going to get longer as we go through. Oh, right here. Now, that kid looks a little familiar. Mm-hmm. So now we know for a fact, Throgmorton fucked a gorilla. Francis, divorce is no simple matter these days. It never has been. In my legal practice, you must clearly define the fault you shall present to the court. The most common options being cruelty, adultery, or an incurable mental illness. It is my impression that your firstborn's death at the tender age of seven dealt a blow to Bethany's health. I do sincerely hope she recovers, but the court won't share my concerns. Oh, did he kill his normal human child, pure human child, uh, for the one he brought back from Africa? Besides, Oakmont Asylum seems to be a very well-run place. Regards, Chauncey. Hmm. Think he did. Or. Or. The kid killed the other kid. Like the one he brought back from Africa. Either way, we'll see. There didn't seem to be anything else up here. I thought I clicked on anything, on everything, but I could very well have missed something. So I'll head back up and double check. Because, yeah, we got key evidence, but we didn't get all the evidence. There's nothing down here. All right, yeah, let's go back upstairs and double check. Uh, yeah, over this way. 
So we clicked on everything in here. Clicked on the picture. Won't let us do anything with that. And there's nothing else I can do with this picture. Yeah, it's not letting me click on anything else. Oh, in the corridor? Yeah, I clicked on these. I clicked on that, that, and it wouldn't let me click on anything else, and that. Yeah, I got all three of those. Yeah, this one was, he was talking about the craftsmanship. That was his pun about them being sharp, but that's the point. And this is like father, like son type thing. Yeah. Imagine at this point, hey, Schmond. At this point, I guess we go talk to Rock Morton again. Your father's Your expedition. Your father led an expedition back in 1891. Do you know anything about it? This just looks silly. I'm not the best person to ask, I'm afraid. I was a babe in arms back then, and my father never made his findings public. It is a great shame, of course. His work would have turned the science of evolution on its head. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> I had some questions about Bethany. I beg your pardon? I don't believe I know anyone of that name. Well, it came up during the investigation. See, your father divorced, and his ex-wife's oh. name was Bethany. Say no more. It is beyond my earliest memories, but even if it weren't, my father's business So we have to go to the own. asylum now. I shall not engage in gossip. Have a good day. So we know she's at the asylum. Hmm. So when he brought back his human-ape hybrid baby from Africa that I'm assuming his dad had with Rosie the gorilla the picture we see upstairs. Um, he came back. I think he may have killed his firstborn son, who was completely human, divorced Bethany, and then basically expunged her and all records of her from his life. The dad's a stand-up person, ain't he? Uh, let's see. So we know we gotta, we gotta go to the asylum, which is over here. Uh, before we do that, I might as well go get some, go get some of these things. Yeah, I kind of want to knock some more of these off of our... I hate having a full quest log. I really, really do. <laughs> it's always been a pet peeve of me. If it's full, it bugs the shit out of me. I could be. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if there's an overlap in the quest because she did say she was getting revenge for somebody because of what Throgmorton did to her or did to that person so probably although my only doubt about that is it seems kind of weird that they would have it as a separate quest you know what I mean just cutting through apparently not something I can do Fine game, I'll take the boat. I mean, it seems logical, though, that Bethany would be the one in the mirror quest, but... Now that I think about it, they could have done it just so, like, you never actually know. Like, it's... Because the mirror quest is an optional side quest. So it's like, if you don't, you don't get the whole story, if you don't do the side quest as well. I mean, there are lots of games that do that, so yeah, it could very well be the case. Okay. I need to cut across at some point. Good 
forward. Apparently I can't. That's kind of silly game. We're in the same region. How are you going to make this like a solid wall? Yeah, I can honestly say I'm not a fan of that. I may not even be able to get around out here because it looks like it'll send me out to... I don't know if they'll let me take the boat out that far. I wouldn't be surprised if I run into an invisible wall out here. Oh, hello, Eye of Dagon. Well, I think we found where we'll be going in the Eye of Dagon quest, but yep, that's exactly what they did. They... Oh, I never played Alan Wake when it came out originally. I always wanted to. I don't remember what stopped me. I'm wondering if it had something to do with I didn't have a... Oh, good lord. Take it back on it. Maybe I just didn't have the correct console at the time. Because I do remember it being console exclusive when it first came out. But yeah, I never got around to playing it, unfortunately. Yeah, I really don't like how they designed this area. It's like they designed it deliberately to piss you off and make you take, you know, like it, you just, it's just a lot of wasted time running around a solid wall there, you know, of buildings. I feel like they should have put more like shortcuts But yeah, if it is coming back to digital stores, I'd be more than happy to give it a shot now. I also need to get around to getting myself a capture card because there's also a lot of upcoming console games I would definitely like to stream. That's where we put our... No, next one over. Is that the book I need? Give me the book. I don't think that chain's doing any good. Ah. Uh, maybe have some... Oh, student's house. Okay. I thought I'd have to start killing shit as soon as we got up in here. Hey. What are you staring at? Get lost. Excuse me? Hi there. Hi. I'm about to kill your roommate. We're just students. What do you want from us? I was told to contact you when I crossed the boundary. We made it. There's three of us. Tell me, is it really safer here than in our world? I do not like the smell of this air. It reeks of madness. We have acquired one of their books. Despite my apprehensions, we will open more pathways here. Our people deserve life more than they do. We know horrors without words. We know eternity. We know agony. These people know only indulgence and ego. We will become them, and they will become nothing. Uh, huh? I'm going to have to kill you guys, aren't I? You guys are going to, like, transform. I'm going to have to murder every one of you. Uh, also, on a side note, 
I looked into that one quest we did yesterday where we were looking for the brain cylinders. Turns out there's a couple quests like that in the game that are triggered by something in the environment, like that first cylinder we found. And that's all they are, is they send you on a uh, scavenger hunt all over the city. And all you get from it is experience. There's no real story thing behind it. There's nothing, really. It's just kind the of there. Budge. The door won't budge. Now watch. Now that I've done that, everybody downstairs is going to transform and come try to eat me. Finally, Ether, Esther has found the book we were looking for. If it's true, then we'll be able to attend all our boring lectures without actually going. The illusions will take our place. It's incredible. I wonder why no one else has done it. Uh, yeah, no, that's... This place looks pleasant as well. Yep. The blood dried not too long ago. Yep, they killed everybody and took their place. The wounds are still bleeding. Multiple fractures. Not a good way to die. They really do look like us. No need to attend those boring lectures now. <laughs> the illusions can do that for us. The illusions were not illusions. They were from another dimension. A horrible dimension. Clean this up. No one must know we took their place. What? No! Stop! Time to figure this out. They really do look like us. What? No! Stop! Clean this up. No one must know we took their place. Students made copies of themselves. There was a massacre and the illusion replaced the originals. The book was taken by one of the copies. Yep, looks like I got a job to do. The door won't budge. Oh, I could have just done... I'm aware. Where else would I go? By your humble servant, my faithful reader, there are things in this world that defy logic or reason. Lesser minds will insist on their falsity, but truth is in the eye of the beholder. Be brave, ignore the ignorant, and close your second eyelid. I shall teach you how to cut a slice from another dimension and manifest those dark materials before the eyes of thousands. These illusions will seem all but real, but note well, you must never bring across living creatures. They are not of this world. Figured you fuckers were gonna try something. All right then. <laughs> I guess I really didn't have to use my shotgun for that. Oh, 
All right. I can get rid of this. Oh, we could just take the boat across. We're actually not far from the next one. Although that building is apparently massive, so... These places don't really bother me anymore. They're a good place to get loot. Yep. That's not like I'm planning on lingering either. Look at that. But yeah, I did like that story. That was more fleshed out than a lot of the other side quests. And there was more eldritch stuff going on. I liked it. I wish more of the quests were like that. Especially since the variety of creatures in this game is somewhat limited. I believe that's where we need to go. You're kidding, right? Okay. I mean, it's not far to an official dock, but still, it's weird. Gotta be another entrance, because this is the only standalone house around here. It's gonna be a. Oh, that's some barricading stuff. Okay. Where are the creepy crawlies? This is basically Throgmorton's house. We've been here. Dear Mr. Samuel Hopes, I am pleased to report that I have successfully restored the tome you sent me. But before we conclude our business together, I wonder if perhaps you might appreciate having some copies of the book. I would be honored to duplicate the work and would do so without charge. I am confident you will accept my proposal and have in fact already finished copying the first chapter. A tome of such power deserves to be read by many, should it not? No. Definitely. Definitely not the kind of shit you probably translated for this dude. Oh, and it goes even farther down. I'll head back upstairs first. Someone please help me. I don't want to write anymore. Written words can change the world. I want to sleep. I'm hungry. I can't feel my fingers. Make the book stop, please. Written words can change the world. Written words can change the world. Written words can change the world, so the book is fucking with him. Yep, that sounds about... Sounds about right. The door won't budge. The hell it won't. Hey, dude. Go away. I mustn't stop writing. 
so many words. By your humble servant, the sounds borne on our tongues could be more powerful than you would, could imagine, my faithful reader. And the written words can change the world. I shall teach you how to use these words to control weak minds. Should you kneel before this tome and absorb its teachings, so too shall others kneel before you. But such power is only for the worthy, and will destroy those unfit to wield it. Blessed reader, you must transcribe these words in your own hand. Only deserving minds will be able to cease. Will you take the risk? <laughs> you would think they wouldn't take a swing at you or act like they're going to fight if they're that weak. All right, let's go all the way in the basement now. I'm pretty sure there's nothing down there that we need, but... is zero reason to come down here. It's Lovecraft. There aren't any good guys or bad guys. Let's be honest. That door won't budge. <laughs> Yeah, there aren't any good guys in this world. All right. I feel like we're going to end up going to the theater eventually. Yeah, we're going to teleport to... I'm just going to follow this road north. And we are going to teleport to town hall to get the last one. Stop it. Bitch. And to be fair, Dog is happy. Aside from those people in the cave at the bottom of the ocean, we were attacked first. I don't know why I'm heading that way. I need to go this way. They all started it. Ah. Good point. This is what I'm looking for. Benjamin Miller, Oakmont, Advent. Citizen. Well, I guess we go to occupation, maybe. Advent. <laughs> there he is. Benevolent Tides Road and Hawthorne Avenue. Books for the book club, paper for the paper throw. <laughs> nice. That actually very much fits. Because, I mean, seriously, think about it. How many Lovecraftian stories focus around damn near borderline sentient evil books? So, Central Advent, Carpenter Street. Let's find Carpenter Street. Well, yeah, Carpenter Street's right here. Benevolent Tides and Hawthorne. Well, there's Benevolent Tides. And I assume... Yeah, there's Hawthorne. But the only overlap's here, because if we come up here, 
it turns into Saint um, Saint Michael's Road, so it has to be here. Also, before we get confusing uh, directions, let's get rid of that. Find something you like, cheaper than the rest. Apparently, you don't want to sell me shit, then. Fuck you too. Extra, extra! <laughs> All the news that's fit to print. <laughs> Excuse me. Now, where shall we go? Where shall we go? Where shall we go? Yeah, we need the boat. I am wondering when the story is going to send us to deal with the king in yellow some more. I mean, sure, they haven't confirmed that's who he is, but like we've said from the beginning, it's pretty obvious. They're not being subtle at all with him. Aha. Uh -huh. prepared to do murder we're upstairs waiting for you as always the key is under the illusion if we succeed before you return don't panic we'll leave the book here you'll be able to open the portal and follow us All right. Yep. Yep, I saw it. I just kind of wanted to... I heard that fucking sloshing. Where you at? What the fuck just happened? Oh, we got teleported. Dish it out and she can take it. Jesus. Anything else? Or is it just that? Oh, it looks like it's just that. By your humble servant, all known forms and shapes are more complex than you dare think my humble student. Have you ever tried to look inside a straight line or find the end of a circle? The angles hide entire realms of existence, dimensions of utter incongruity where size is backwards and time is optional. And with my help, you can open a passage to these places using only the lines and angles of your mind. Mm -hmm. All right then. Now, where would, where did I go to return this? I assume the university. I just don't remember the dude. Like he was next to the fountain in the university.
That name shows up a lot in this city, Watley's Household Chemistry. Uh, for what? I mean, I can. Yeah, if you want me to go over any of these other ones or if you want me to take a closer look at one yeah yeah he's the dude near the fountain yeah if you want me to look at any of those if you think i missed something yeah I, I will just let me know which one this and go ah okay all right so this will unlock a uh, the new outfit ah okay like maybe he moved after we um got all the books we had to meet him elsewhere Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it changed and we had to meet him at the library. I said, I still find it odd we haven't had to go to the library. Yep, there he is. Dude, get your ass inside. What you doing out here in the rain with the books, man? What the hell is wrong with you? Tell me more about your book club. We think that knowledge should be available to everyone who seeks it. Unlike those snobs in the university library. So we have assembled our own collection. Every club member can borrow any book they want. Yeah, how's That's that working out for you? Or... What it's worth, club meetings are every Thursday in the Hall of the Devil's Reef Hotel. Come along. I'll think about it. I believe these are the books you were after, safe and sound. Unlike the people who read them. Maybe you should reconsider how widely you share this Yes. Knowledge. You're starting to sound like the snobs from the university. Close-minded and arrogant. Nevertheless, you have my gratitude. Our unique collection is once again complete. I trust this will be enough compensation for your trouble. Bye. Yeah, okay. Oh, there's the Master Sleuth costume. And I know we get another costume from Open House. I'll mark these real quick. Cover side. I'm not going to go out of my way to do these ones right now, though. I just wanted to, uh, I just want to mark these ones. Lincoln Street between Derry and Landing. Really? Hmm. So here. Well, actually, it's going to be down here, but still. Okay, we we don't need that many of those. <laughs> yeah, it'll be down here somewhere. Oh, shit, really? Salvation. I wish I knew I could do that before. Salvation Harbor. Western Salvation Harbor, Eel Street and Castle Street. So there's Eel. I'm looking for Seven Oaks. There's F Seven Oaks. So between Eel and Castle. No, 
that's about the only place it could be is right there. The shells. Did I not remove this one? Inner shrine. No, I guess I already put that one down. All right. All three of those locations are in place. Uh, through the looking glass. If we want to check out the mirror, which we probably should. Oh, okay. So cool. Cool. Um, through the looking glass is not actually the main story. So that stuff we were finding about the ape and all that. Okay, so no, it is. I was mistaking fathers and sons for through the looking glass. Okay, yeah, we haven't done any of the main quest stuff yet. Thought we had. We have not. I'll go ahead and mark these two. The Skylark. Eastern Grimhaven Bay. War Street. There it is. Between Tower and Clam Bay. What's Tower? So, here? Otherwise, they would have sent Privateer, right? Find the pride. No, I did not want to put that there. Thank you. Southern Shells, Moorland Road. That's Moorland Road. With Old Colony Street. Right there. Oh, that's right next to the fish market. We get to that one real fast. All right. Not what I want to do once again. Northern Coverside, near the Asylum. North from the intersection of Seaside and Providence. There's Providence. There's Seaside. There's the Asylum. That's a clue about it, so... All right. All right, so we got all those marked. A lot of these are grouped together. I like that. And that's to good that just wants us to go to the asylum, so that works for me. Reed Heights. Vinland Avenue. Vinland or University is what we're looking for. So southwestern Reed Heights. We're in the right area. University Street. Vinland Avenue. Hmm, not really seeing a... Oh, there's Vinland Avenue. South of University, so it has to be like right around here. All right. Fishing house, crime scene, central Salvation Harbor. Just going to mark all these quickly. Seven Oaks between Octopus and Skipper. Well, Seven Oaks. There's Octopus. And Skipper. So... Only place that could be is right up in here. Southern Old Grove. Let's 
So a manor in Southern Old Grove, south of Century. Oh, wow. Gee, thanks. Oh, Beacon Street. Okay, I was about to say, I didn't see that part. I was like, if you just tell me south of Century, it's like, this is all this shit. All right. Well, uh, which one of these should we? Well, I mean, we could tackle all of them or we could just continue on with the main story. I mean, you go research stuff at the newspaper for the main story. Which we can do. Wasn't there some stuff here, though? Like, we're in university, in the university area. Let's just grab what we can while we're here. Wish there was a faster way to change the cases. I have to see if there's a hotkey. That seems ridiculous that you have to go all the way through like that. do that but i have to pin individual stuff and there's no sense to do this there's no point to do that really hmm. yeah i really wish they would do something about that that seems like a simple quality of life just if you're not going to let me have all the marks on the screen and then just tick them off then just let me switch my cases on the fly I'm tempted. That's not what we're here for today. Rich apartment. So if I go any further south, I'll no longer be on Vinland, so no. a lot of gunpowder it's telling me some shit's about to go down we're just taking pictures here supposedly just taking pictures got a knowledge point. Great. Ah, right, skills. I mean, oh, we have two skill points. Jesus. Done and done. So, I mean, Finish that one off and start working down the submachine gun, even though we don't have it. sounds coming from uh, 
It's another really big dude. Aha. Not sure I like that there's a warning, but... moderately sized dude was there something on the dinner table i'll go back down one precise strike he died almost instantly this card certifies that e brian was a member in good standing of the oakmont photo club he joined after the flood oh was he that not count oh, okay hmm. it says I got everything but I'll go check the dinner table ah I'll take more ammo That was just a trap. Uh, let's go and craft some more stuff. We're getting low on this. Cool. I'll try to go easy on the uh, shotgun rounds. All right, to the newspaper. The hell is oh, it's all the way over here in cover side. Not gonna lie, Crown Street is, uh, the Crown Theater is very tempting, but I'm almost positive uh, the game is gonna send us there anyway. Like, there's no way in hell he's just a throwaway, you know, side character. ways away from that fast travel point yeah i don't i don't see him being an optional side character if he is i will be sorely disappointed And if we don't see him by the time we get to like the last third of the game, I'll just go find him myself. All right. Now I know I have stuff to do in cover side. Yep, one of the bodies is over here. there was I was wrong we know the mirror is not here ah one of the houses is okay just that one of the houses okay that's actually pretty straightforward well, let's highlight this one because we need that to in the newspaper around the block real quick. Stay safe. Surprised she hasn't bugged us for an interview again yet. All right. Let's 
Smugglers communicate secretly using advertisements for Salvation Harbor. I mean, like, after the flood? Because... The time has come to send Toothless Bob on his final journey. This time to the Seven Oaks Bar at the crossroad of Calmshore Street and Salvation Road in Western Salvation Harbor. The hell? Okay. Toothless Bob's Wake. Sure. We need to go to Salvation Harbor. This game's taken us to Salvation Harbor a lot with some of these quests. Calm Shore and Salvation. Western. Well, there's Calm Shore and there's Salvation. Holy shit. At the intersection. Oh, the bar. Yeah, we've been there. That's where we, that's where the cop's job is. I feel like we should finish the cop's job before we go continue this, because then we can just walk in there and do both. All right, well, let's do open house, because it's here. And we haven't done any of these. And then, yeah, I think we'll probably switch up the clothing a bit too. How far over there is this? Yeah, far enough to probably want to use fast travel. Or not. And they love putting these roadblocks up, don't they? Huh. Just random dudes getting gunned down in the street now. Well, that's the second one. Not the first one. So we know there's not anything else to do with the hospital. The guy didn't have more quests for us. He's just been ignoring us now. Well, not ignoring us, but he just gives us the whole spiel about staying safe because they don't have any more rooms. Yeah, I kind of feel like this is the house. Because he did say he's trying to buy up the real estate. Bring it if you're going to. No? Okay. Oh, all evidence collected. Well, that was easy. North to Asher Road. Where are the rest of the cop stuff? Let's do that real quick. Uh, just because we have to go continue the quest anyway. Old Grove at the Manor. I don't know if we had anything else to do in Old Grove. Let's see. So we know through the Looking Glass and Bounty of the Sea aren't in Old Grove. So, yeah. Most it could be is open house and extra hours. 
and he does not have any property up there so that's pretty easy then pretty straightforward we just go there and we do extra hours These are pretty straightforward and at least these ones have some tangible rewards and stuff going with them unlike the um that brain canister one man i was actually sorely disappointed by that one just it feels like they could have done so much with it you know what i mean for it to just be a big circle is disappointing That's the road. Oh, one more. Dude, what are you bloody well stuck on? Oh, that's creepy. A carnival slash amusement park in this city? No, uh-uh. Oh, it's probably that right there, huh? Knock. Oh. Your own fucking business. I didn't want to kill the cop. But I am damn sick of just getting straight up like attacked for killing a monster. I'm guessing it wasn't suicide. What makes you say that? Yeah, like honestly, I wish the game would different would like make it so the cops could differentiate. Ooh. Yeah, I wish the cops could differentiate between those. Like, he's not shooting people, he's killing monsters. It says there's something here, but I don't really... You mean so much to me. I see. Reason to investigate, huh? Yeah, that's a that's a plus that there's no star rating in this cuz good god. <laughs> We'd be in trouble. Oh, I'm sure he is, yeah. Pretty sure he probably killed all these people. Because why else wouldn't he... This card certifies that R. Becker was a member in... Yeah, photo club. Yeah. 
Because there's really no reason he couldn't at least, like... Yeah. My understanding, police officers tend to be pretty damn cooperative with one another. So... Yeah, the fact that he's like, well, I can't really mess around with it. Yeah, I'm a little... That's a little suspicious. Also, is that an unactivated... It is an unactivated... Fast travel point. Convenient. Yeah, nah, he's killing these people. Why? I guess we'll find out. So we have just one more to go. I want to investigate the photo club if it'll let us. Let's see. No. Officer Shaw was in a close relationship with one of the victims. Yep, he was. Yeah, I feel like the cop killed all these people. Extra, extra. All the news that's fit to print. Dude, I'd buy a paper if the game let me, but the game won't let me actually buy anything. Straightforward. Yep. Definitely seems like M for murder. You starting this already? Take a second to loot. No. I said no. Behave, you little bastards. Poor man was trying to escape, but met his end after a single savage attack. Hmm. We have key evidence, we don't have all evidence. Game's done that a few times. <laughs> yep, another photo club, huh? Well, the game's not letting me use the mind palace thingy, so... Yeah. All right, let's go to the casebook. We've done all of the extra hours stuff. So the dude who was killed. So all these cards. Yeah. Mm, are for the um, photo club. Huh. Like it said, the cop was in the relationship with someone. Interesting. Oh, well. I think there was stuff in the shells for us to do. Also, wasn't there a ship in the shells? No, there was not. Ah, well, open house. Oh! 
Okay, dude. Just sit your ass down in the boat and let's go. Evening, Hollow. How's it going? Welcome. Welcome to the land of mold and tentacles. That's pretty much all that's here. <laughs> Ain't nobody offered us booze yet, unfortunately. I'm sure our dude could use it, but ain't nobody offered yet. Oh yes, there's barnacles too. <laughs> How could I forget the barnacles? And murder, lots and lots of murder. It's a lovely place, honestly. I guess it didn't matter where I put it, right? The guy told me to just put it on the top floor. Diary from the sunken flat. Eating fisk affects my skin a lot. Its elegant paleness has changed to an ugly greenish color. I thought my mirror was spoiled by damp, but it is not. The balsam I bought didn't help. I can't sleep now. What if I'll become green like a seaweed or those nasty corals will grow on me? Jeremy has caught a cold. I'm so afraid he'll lose the job. He went to the doctor and wears this ugly scarlet scarf even while sleeping. Poor Jeremy. The sheets are so dry that I can't sleep. Maybe a short walk will help. The water tonight is so calm, I want to touch it. Jeremy is so busy with work that I can swim as much as I want, and all I want is to be in the open water. Ah! Is that right, Hollow? Open house over there means an open party to all, free booze. Huh. Open house here just means a... It's a real estate thing. When a house is for sale, open house just means the realtor is going to be there, and anybody can just stop by and take a tour of the house. Sometimes they have snacks, usually cookies. I like your guys' version more. Oh, the fucker. Oh, there he is. Uh oh. I knew it, you bastard. Jerry, I'm sorry to disappoint you. While it's true I own several ships, none of them can take you and your sister to the sea. Nevertheless, there are other captains in this Borg who may agree with your plan. Come to the port, let me find me near the entrance, and I'll introduce you to some of my friends. <laughs> no, they're quite boring. I've gone to several when I was considering buying a house in my area. Then decided I really don't want to live long term in my area. Dear Jeremy, my test suggests that in so many ways your symptoms resemble the so-called Innsmouth syndrome. Your case is a difficult one, but science may help you to fight this illness. Come by again and we'll try a free therapy based on the experimental deworming medicine I've invented. I'm convinced the syndrome is a result of a helminth infestation from raw or poorly cooked fisk. Uh -huh. Interesting. Did the other house have? I don't think it did. Yeah, house and cover side. No. Yeah, there was no evidence to collect there aside from that, so. Yeah, 
yeah honestly i feel like most of the people that show up for those open houses around here are there just for like the cookies or whatever other snacks because most of them just wander in like the ones i've gone to you just have random people wander in off the street sometimes the children have a couple cookies look around the living room for like two seconds and then leave <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's very little food at all here. There is um, fish and fisk, which kind of seems like booze as well. So I don't know. Well, let's do the house in the shells and then we can come back and do, well, yeah, we're right here. Let's just knock this one out. Not only that, I saw a... Maybe you guys have seen it already on the, dis, you know, on the loading screens. Oh, God, don't go in the water. Uh, the last loading screen actually showed... Said that for whatever reason, nobody knows why, but this town doesn't show up on any maps. Uh, any maps of the U.S. or anything. So... After the flood hit, the reason that it doesn't show up on any maps and nobody knows it's here is why it's having such a hard time getting, like, disaster relief. So, yeah. All right. Well, I guess it's more than not getting any... Yeah, getting the more disaster relief. They're not getting any disaster relief. They're on their own. All right, let's go find the cop. I believe he said he had an office upstairs. You are not the cop that gave me the job, so I don't want to talk to you. I know why you're I know so invested. Why you this case cracked. Found some clues in Becker's house. And you were close, weren't you? How dare you? I, he, he was special. A man you meet only once in life. Mm. He understood me. I won't stop until I find those who did it. I'm sorry for your loss, Sam. And don't worry, I'm a private eye. Emphasis on the private. Thank you, Charles. I appreciate it. There's a link between all the victims. I found these cards in each house. The photography club membership. They all had them. Yeah. Yeah, Seems those like eyes, right? Investigate. Thank you, Reed. I knew you'd find something. <laughs> I might pay this club a visit. See if there's anyone who has an issue with them. Or you could just let me do it. I got those photos you wanted. You got my compensation. Terrific. Thank you. Uh, here, take this. Some of these were pretty horrible. I hope you find the killer. Me too, Reed. Me too. I still think he's the killer, but oh well. Take care. They didn't really give me any other options. Okay. I'll need another drink to get through this. Oh, I didn't realize this was going to give me a costume too. Nice. All right, so I feel like this dude over here is the dude I need to talk to. He's the only new curp new person in this area. Don't do anything stupid, okay. newcomer. And keep your hands where I can see them. Don't be a dick, man. I've already killed a couple of your cops. Not on purpose, mind you. But they all couldn't understand that I was shooting monsters. They and so they opened fire. Uh this is the bar. Oh. I'm looking to leave the city. A uh, little bird told me there are people in Oakmont who can help me leave town. Maybe, maybe not. What makes you think I know anything? I came for Toothless Bob's wake. I've heard they're having a wake for Toothless Bob here. That may be true, but I don't know you from Adam. Prove you ain't some gumshoe. Maybe I can do you a favor? I feel like mentioning Throgmorton. He flat out told me on the other one that he doesn't want his name thrown around. 
Actions speak louder than words. Maybe I can prove myself by helping you out with something. Solving problems is my specialty. Okay. I know this is a different quest, What about though? a little favor? Nothing fancy, don't worry. I expected a package to be delivered ages ago, but the courier still hasn't shown. Find out what's taken him so long. Here's the address. Got it. One more thing. If you don't find him, bring the package back, will ya? It's a crate full of the water of life. If so he was a smuggler. Drift. Gotcha. Bye. What do they call them? Bootleggers? Yeah. Grimhaven Bay. We do have a lot of stuff to do in Grimhaven Bay. Levi Coffin Avenue. That's a fairly long name for the street. That should be easy to find. I say, and now I don't see it anywhere. There it is. Uh, not far from the crossroad with Marsh Avenue. Ah. So probably in this infested zone. Ah, yep, I will do that because I will do that here in a second because right up here, if I finish open house, which we only have one more house to go to, I get a costume for that as well, Stahor. So I might as well get all three because we've already got the book one. We got the police one. And then this guy gives us one. Might as well get all three and then head back, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, my biggest issue with it is the mask, but I do kind of like the Plague Doctor look. <laughs> There's where we need to go. Since we know that that's... I was going to be like... I almost made a mistake there. I'm like, oh, I can just take the boat from here to here and cross across. But... No, I can't because this is a giant wall I, that I can't get through, so no. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if the stuff here is airborne, this would be more practical, but we don't... As far as we can tell, we don't know. Uh, I feel like this is probably the best option. But yeah, let's go. Steampunk hazmat. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't you want to wear a hazmat suit if you were coming into this town? I sure as hell would. Come at me, monsters. to catch me first wear two hazmat suits yep oh yeah the stench of the corpses too I mean some of them did believe that the putting the right herbs in there would also block out any airborne diseases but yeah the smell with all the rotting fish and rotting sharks and corpses left out yeah and you gotta imagine these people stink like ass like no offense to anybody that lives in an area like that but one of the biggest things i remember from living in swampy areas in louisiana where there was you know uh let's see where there was a lot of humidity and heat and all the other shit in the air you could tell when somebody almost immediately you could tell when someone hasn't bathed fairly recently and yeah so i imagine all these people stink like hell especially since you gotta imagine there isn't really a lot of running water to bathe you don't want to bathe in that because of the man-eating eels and a lot of them are homeless so yeah this place probably stinks so bad Oh, I remember the gators. Well, I guess I shouldn't have come all the way back here. The gators and the snakes and the mosquitoes and the cockroaches. No, I don't paint a very pleasant picture of Louisiana, but 
It's honest. <laughs> Although I gotta say, one of the most, um... Oh yeah, they have the massive cockroaches in Louisiana as well. You get hundreds of the little ones running around, but they also have, like, the big ones. Quite a lot of spiders too, but not nearly as many. Ah. But yeah, one of my most vivid memories related to gators in Louisiana is there's a stretch of highway that I was taking with my family once, my parents, because I was a kid when I lived in Louisiana. Um, we were going to New Orleans. Uh, I don't remember what for. It had nothing to do with me. I just was going along. They had something to do there at the, you know, at one of the government buildings. Anyway, I don't remember what it was, but um, it had something to do with the... Uh, all I remember is it had something to do with the adoption of my sister. Anyway. Um, there was a stretch of highway where there were alligators like every five to ten feet stretched out on the shoulder of the road for like miles. They were just chilling. Ooh, that looks interesting. I do not think this is the house though. That I'm supposed to put incense on. This is not a house. <laughs> oh yeah, it's because it's probably across the street. Warren and Inner Shine, so yeah. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. nope. I do not want anything to do with that hollow. Uh, for the most part, I can handle spiders, but yeah, that might be a bit much for me. I've never really spent a lot of time in an area where there were like deadly spiders, I guess. I mean, there are some in my area right now that are deadly but they're in the, you have to go quite far out of town to run into them because they usually spend their time up in the mountains or in the more desert areas of the state. Hmm, where is this? I mean, I guess it could be on, hmm. Oh, it's Hawking Lane. It's up here. Hawking Lane between Inner Shine and Warren. So, yeah, no, I am in the complete wrong place. Okay. Oh, lovely. He owns real estate in the danger zone. Okay, so that might be a bit much for me, even if it wasn't poisonous or venomous, I should say. I might have issues with a spider large enough to drag away a mouse. <laughs> and by that, I mean I definitely would have issues with a spider large enough. This is probably it then. Mm, no, that wouldn't be it. Ow. 
Where'd the other little bastard go? Your brother said it was a small spider and don't worry about it. Ah, uh, yeah, no thank you. That was a bad idea. <laughs> I definitely need my shotgun for that asshole. Or keep my distance. Eh, we're not far away. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not sure I could actually handle Australia. Like, the people sound amazing. I would, you know, on that basis alone, I'd probably be okay going. But then I hear the stories of the wildlife, and it's not just the wildlife, it's also the heat. I am not a big fan of really 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 hot areas <laughs> they're so calm about it when a spider big enough to barge past you in a doorway runs across the room and you're screaming looking for a shovel yeah no i think that's the appropriate response Yeah, I would love to go, and then I start thinking about the heat and reading about the heat, and I'm like, well, maybe not so much anymore. But I guess if you live around that every day, right? I mean... You'll get used to it. Seriously, motherfucker? Fine, I can use more experience. Down you go. Alright. Since we know there's one of those bastards in the house. get this done and get the hell up out of here seriously west has a lot of offices how many locations you need to reanimate the dead yeah i was gonna say even in the winter it's still pretty warm isn't it Or Tommy gun ammo. I could definitely use the Tommy gun. Can I have it? Like now? Oh, hey. About dead now? Another knowledge point. Okay. Oh shit. We got two again. Good lord. Oh, I don't have any of these. That's why. 
grenades and fire bombs. And yeah, I guess we'll go down this route. Don't tell the police. Your husband crossed paths with a powerful man has been taught a lesson. If you want to see him again, bring all the bullets he stashed away. Don't try to fool us. He already told us how much he's hiding. And for this and your safety, don't even think about going to the police. Run away from this place and don't look back. No matter what, do not... Gaze your eyes upon that awful man in the painting. A few months ago, I was visiting a lady, friend for a cup of tea, and free lodgings if my charm served me well. Uh huh. I saw him for the first time then, hanging on the bedroom wall, staring. He has been following me since, and now he's made his way here to my own room. Heed my warning and leave. Leave before your eyes meet his. Alright. Uh. I do feel like there's a disconnect here, though. Like, it's showing all the messed up um, sanity thing. It doesn't seem like there's a consistency to it because I've greatly increased my sanity gauge. Doesn't seem to make a bit of difference. Like, our dude starts going insane very quickly anyway. Open house. He's in the fish market. the fastest way up out of this place. Through Hawking. Which also get me to the fast travel spot, so. That's where one of the canisters was. You gotta wonder about this city. I mean, these cars are abandoned, but so many of these cars we find in garbage cans and stuff have like gunpowder and bullets in them. I really wonder what kind of city this was the rest of the time before the flood. But it still looks like it was shady as fuck. All right, so after this, we continue the story. Uh, because we've knocked out most of our side quests. And most of the rest of our side quests revolve around Grimhaven Bay, which we have to go anyway. And the, um, asylum. So, yeah. Was it you? I did what you asked. Not sure what difference it will make given the state of your houses. Hush! My properties suit a discerning and budget conscious <laughs> clientele. Do they? They are of the finest quality. Seems you and I have different standards of quality, Walter. You don't know this Borg like I do, newcomer. I'll beat old Victor at his own game. Here, take a reward. And don't forget to recommend my lodgings to your friends. I hope they are never in such dire need of shelter. <laughs> you won't find a better house at that price. Oh, yeah. They mentioned that they, you know, that they do have links to the mainland. It's just I don't think most of the greater world knows they're here because, like I said, the map thing. So nobody knows how to get them any aid. All right, let's go to the hotel and switch out of this costume and see what other options we have. We have three new ones at this point. So we've already had this one. 
Uh, no, thank you. Master Sleuth. And probably the most normal clothing. This one just looks like he's kind of relaxed and chilling around town. <laughs> no, it definitely isn't. I just like that this one seems like super casual wear, like, yeah, we good. <laughs> it's nothing to worry about here. But yeah, I agree. Let's go with let's go with the sleuth one. Oh, is it? I was more commenting on it that it seems like the most comfortable of all the clothing we have. All right, so we have fathers and sons that we can now do down here. We can do it quickly by going here. Uh, out of curiosity, where are these ships? Oh, there's one right there. I could just, I didn't realize it was that close. So we should probably hit that one up. Oh, that one's way over there, and we don't have a fast travel point. So I'm just going to hit this one up, and then we're going to go do the story. Ah, it's an old-timey Ukrainian costume. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Well, regardless, it looks fairly comfortable. Most of this dude's clothing looks uncomfortable as hell. Looking for clues about a shipwreck. Oh, we're not there yet. Hey guys, you see a big sunken ass ship around here? Ah, uh, true, long coats can be pretty nice and comfy, but the rest of his clothing underneath the coat don't seem to be. What the hell? Oh, okay, well, it might help if I was going in the right direction. a couple of really long coats and I do enjoy them. I mean, we've been over here. I mean, does he have another log book? Get off my ship, you newcomer rat! Kinda wanna shoot you now. Ah. Yeah, it is an old marker. Okay. Kinda weird then. I think that was the first one we found. It's kinda weird that it's still there. Like that it's still on this new quest. Because we delivered it, got paid, and then he offered us a new one. Oh, well. Let's go do the story. Yeah, because we fully turned it in, and then he asked us if we were willing to do more. And I we could have turned it down, so I don't know. Hey, dude, I hate to break it to you, but the other dude's got a better barge than you do. He's got, like, lazy boys and shit on his barge. All right. 
wonder how many quests we have to do before they give us the battle rifle. And considering the time period, I'm actually really curious what the battle rifle's gonna be. Knock all this out. All right, so we're going to go get booze from a danger zone. All right. What could possibly go wrong with this plan? Okay, I don't have a gun equipped. That's the first problem. more ammo for me no but you got gunpowder which is almost as good That must be for a quest we haven't found yet because there's not really a place to pawn shit in this game, so... Okay. Invisible bastards. Oh, hey. Thank you for that. That was most helpful. Probably a Springfield. Yeah, you're probably right on that. Yeah. Given the time period. I'd actually love to own one of those. Well, let's actually look at the clue, because we know it's here. Levi Coffin Road, not far from the crossroad with Marsh Avenue. Who could be in any of these? Well, now's the time to look around, because we've killed everything for the most part. And while they do respawn very quickly, I highly doubt they respawn quickly enough to get me while I'm in here. Hmm. Well, I'm not seeing any buildings we can actually enter. So I could be wrong. road technically ah Oh, 
all those nasty ass sounds. Hey, dude. Another knowledge point. Yep. <laughs> Does not make, take much to level up here. I will say I'm enjoying this game enough that I'm curious about trying some of their some of the devs um Sherlock Holmes games which like I said they basically just slapped Cthulhu on top of from what I've heard they just slapped their little Cthulhu story and theme on top of their uh Sherlock Holmes mechanics from what I've been told so but I'm actually enjoying it enough that I kind of want to see those games as well. I'm left by something heavy with wheels. Okay, maybe maybe don't lock your eyes on it while we're looking around. I was curious about that like this before. Well, that's one way to get rid of a corpse. The blood's almost dry. Mm -hmm. Booze. Got the guy what he wanted. Seems like the game's telling us there's more here to discover, though. Maybe not. The blood's almost dry. Empty. The reeks of gasoline. I've seen ashes like this before. Well, that's one way to get rid of a corpse. Oh, okay. You're done, kid. Someone talks to the cops behind my back. Their history. Get him, boys. It's a dude in a wheelchair. Drock. Whose idea was it to hide the crates in such a stupid way? No mercy, boys. He's been asking for this. Get rid of him. Leave nothing but ashes. Understood? Time to figure this out. Okay, here because he was trying to rob the booze. Drock. Whose idea was it to hide the crates in such a stupid way? Then here's You're him starting the kid. punishment. Someone talks to the cops behind my back. Their history. Get him. No mercy, boys. Oh, they beat He's him down with hammers. For this. Get rid of him. Leave nothing but ashes. Understood? Someone was looking for a crate here and was brutally killed. The crew that did it were headed up by a guy in a wheelchair. Ah. There we go. That's what I was looking for. All evidence collected. I kind of want to walk to this side of Salvation Harbor or Grimhaven Bay uh, just to see if we can't unlock another fast travel point because this place is huge but there's only some over here. So let's go.
Probably is no reason to take the boat at this point. I really hope we see some of the Blackwoods and... Well, we've already seen the last surviving Blackwood. I hope we get more information about them. And I also hope we learn about the Carpenters. I'm wondering if they're another animal hybrid. I'm starting to think they might just be the normal humans. Well, <laughs> normal. Yeah, I'm not really too concerned about the shipwreck over here. I kind of just want a fast travel point. But if we're over here anyway. Oh, that's right. There is a gangster outfit. And there's the Yellow King outfit. Uh, I think the only one we're not going to get is um, the cultist one, because I don't have the DLC for this game. Like I said, until I saw that outfit, I wasn't aware there was DLC to this game. That won't lead me where I want to go. Hell, for all I know, that DLC hasn't even been released yet. Might just be like a hint of things to come. Owls are getting kind of narrow. Really? We haven't been to this infested area? I thought we'd been to all the infested areas. Yeah, fuck off, fuck off. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a private investigator outfit, too. See, I had no idea on that one, either. I didn't know there was a Necronomicon edition. Okay. I guess I just wasn't paying attention to the upgraded editions of the game. I rarely buy those, like collector's editions and all that. The only ones I own were when devs have given me, like, keys to them, but I've never actually purchased one. Worshippers of the Necronomicon. I actually like the sound of that. I wouldn't mind doing a couple side quests focused on the Necronomicon. That might be kind of fun. Okay. But again, not sure I would buy the upgraded pack or yeah. anything. The modern Samson, huh? I used to buy those like collector's edition. Ow! The fuck is wrong with you? I used to buy those collector's editions and then realize that most of like the extras when you buy like the collectors and the ultimate editions, most of the extras were, I don't know, a lot of them it's like, we're giving you all these extra quests and they turned out to be pretty, pretty short side quests and 
and the ones that ended up giving you like physical rewards like here is a like you know pip boy or here is a little you're going to get a figure with your stuff they all tended to be uh cheap little items that it's like oh yeah that that was worth my cash <laughs> oh yeah i don't know I'm a sucker for Lovecraft stuff, so I might just go about... I might consider it for the Necronomicon DLC. There really wasn't any reason to get in here. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm in the right place either. It triggered when I came to this train. Like when I got close to the train. But it's over here. Okay. It's weird. Yeah, it triggered and said I was right here. <sighs> Uh, you know what? I'm not... I don't really care about that chest enough to keep fighting with this. Ah, let's go. I'm just gonna steal your gunpowder. the Skylark's cargo and maybe they took the log as well oh, I'm glad this isn't Metro because I'd be in a lot of trouble for killing that dude after he surrendered and I gotta say in my Metro series I'm actually struggling really hard to not kill everybody I run across so I can get the decent ending. What's your problem? You're in my damn way, that's my problem. Let's keep following the trail of Skylark stuff. I feel like it's probably down in here. There it is. Okay, that was overkill, I freely admit. Loaded the crates with machine details. Don't like the engineers. They look more like gangsters than sailors. The weather gets only worse. We are overloaded and there's no way we can get to Oakmont before the tempest hits. Ordered the sailors to fasten all the crew. Those rats opened fire on the crew. They've doomed us all. <laughs> it did kind of dog is happy. Sound like a discount Wilhelm scream. Are we supposed to survive the storm with wounded men? K, save us all. Alright. Well, we got what we came to this side of town for, though. We found the Skylark thing, and... Uh, we found our fast travel points. So now we can continue. Oops. 
Thankfully, this dude's like right next to a dam. Fast travel point. Makes it really easy to turn this shit in. But I think I'll finish this quest line entirely before I just see if I get a new gun before I go on and start doing the asylum one. Found your courier. <sighs> well, I found your courier. I hate to break it to you, but he's dead. I don't think this Someone dude cares. I'm talking to the cops and well, they made it pretty savage. Well, oh, okay, I'm dead. He might think I was in on it. He? Who's he? The boss. Can I help somehow? Is there anything I can do to help? Hey, I'll handle it. But take my advice. The boss is the only man who can arrange a bon voyage. Don't do anything to make him unhappy. There, a newcomer. Here's the note with your instructions. Beyond that, you're on your own. Okay, thanks. Also, I brought the crate. Here's your water of life. Shh, keep it down, pal. Not too shabby, newcomer. You deserve a reward for this. So, I, do I just give Fred these uh, instructions? Oh, we got Mind Palace stuff. It's been a while. Smuggler's boss is a ruthless tyrant. Hmm, guess not. Guess we just go... Figure it out. Uh, rendezvous point. Question, what does one do with the do with a dog? The dog is rabid, so it must be killed. You guys are such pleasant individuals. I mean, it's true if the dog is rabid, but seriously. <laughs> uh, Windmill Road, Windmill Road. Or Windmill Avenue, right here. Between Octopus and Skipper. Wow, we went straight to it, okay. All right, let's get in our boat and go. Thought we were much closer to the water than that. <laughs> I should probably delete this. We're done. I was about to say, don't get stuck right there. Come on now. That would suck so bad. Nope. Don't want to... Don't want to land at all yet. on something. Okay, look for the inhabited mark. Okay. Yeah, no, we just walk right by the alley. Hey, fella. What do you do when you see a dog? Pet it or kick it away? Honestly, I pet it. But. <laughs> I'd kill it because the dog's rabid. Right you are. You're a new one, huh? Come with us. 
lead the way. Just take me to your boss. I have a shotgun. I can mow you all down. So you aren't wheelchair bound. I'd have broken all your bones, fella, if Papa Brute hadn't put you off limits. Just a reminder. Just calm down. No need for violence. <laughs> After I pull the shotgun out. Who are you? And what the drop do you want? And let's be quick about it, kid. I don't have the whole damn day. I'm Charles Reed. I'm Charles Reed, Private Eye. Heard you can help with, uh, certain things. Hmm. So you want a favor from me, Mr. Reed? And what would that be? I want to smuggle a man out of the city. A lot of people want to leave Oakmont, kid. Few ever succeed. It won't be easy. And, like everything in life that's worthwhile, it won't be cheap. So, what's it gonna cost me? Normally, I wouldn't do drock for a newcomer. But you're doing business with that old ape lover, Throgmorton. I think that's interesting. That tells me you're worth something, kid. Now, I have a job needs doing. But it needs to stay between the two of us. That lady in the background is drugged out of her mind I'm fine with doing a job for you but is this gonna be on the up and up I've got a reputation to think about if you're here kid then I can't imagine you have a boatload of options fair point don't want to do the job for me then get lost and be glad you're still breathing okay look I've killed numerous eldritch horrors at this point Petty gangsters don't scare me. <sighs> Guess I have no choice. So, what do I need to do? First things first. My name's Brutus Carpenter. Ah, here we go. Rightful head of the Carpenter family. So, human. Second thing. Someone tried to kill me a week ago. <sighs> You're not asking me to track them down and kill them, are you? No, kid. I've got hatchet men if I need them. And I don't want to kill him anyway. I just want to know who was gunning for me and why. Yeah, I know how it sounds. But after I almost died, I realized that being a hard case isn't the only option. I want to try to do things differently. Oh, do you? I wasn't expecting mercy from a crime boss. So, what's the catch? It's not a trick, kid. I couldn't give a damn what you think about me. When you're at death's door, it makes you reassess your priorities. Ah. All right, color me interested. How did this all happen? I woke up in the crematorium inside <laughs> a rolled up carpet. I had this tag on my toe like some cadaver. Uh-oh. I was covered in this weird rancid slime. You're gonna I managed change. to get myself out of there. But what I saw once I got home made me think I had a screw loose. And? Doppelganger? What did you see? Me, kid. Some palooka wearing my face and walking out my front door like all was well with the world. So I decided to get out and hole up here. Gathered a small company and pulled myself together. I mean, that's a good point, chat. You're head of an organized crime syndicate. Why would, why would anybody possibly want to kill you? What was your last memory before the <laughs> crematorium? I can remember clearly a dinner I had a week before the incident. After that, only bits and pieces. I remember writing something in my diary. I don't recall what, except it was important. Those notes could tell us how it all started. Fair enough. And I suppose that diary's still in your manner. Exactly, kid. 
in a strong box in my room. You have my permission to crack it if it's necessary. I'll write you the address. Cool, cool. Any thoughts on who'd want to do this to you? Yeah, it must be someone close to me, so I can't trust anyone. I haven't even contacted my son Graham. Normally I'd get him to solve this. Uh, I'm vulnerable now. I can't risk exposing myself. Another good reason to bring in an independent contractor. You must have tried to do something about this imposter already. Of course I did, kid. I wouldn't be asking for your help if this was just a walk in the park. My people said they killed that other me. It didn't change a thing. I guess they got the wrong guy. Or there's a lot of them. So where would I find the city's crematorium? Ah, of course you don't know. You're a newcomer after all. Here's the address. All right. I got it. You mentioned your son, Graham. Can you tell me more about him? Graham? Why would you care? He has nothing to do with this. You sound pretty sure about that. Of course. Graham is too honest. And since the end of the war, he turned into a real bleeding heart. It's become a bit of a headache, actually. <laughs> of course, we've had our differences. Especially about the family business. But he would never hurt a fly. Let alone me. It appears you're quite capable of standing without aid. So why the wheelchair? Does your curiosity always beat out your courtesy? Yes. I'll tell you if it makes you happy. I'm old. Some days I feel tired. This wheelchair, Fair enough. unlike many people, has never crossed me. So I know I can count on it if I need to. All right, cool. Goodbye. Mind Palace. Hmm. I mean, I could see both of those being the case. Brutus is never going to change. After he regains power over his family, he'll continue as he always has. But I could also see a brush with death making him more compassionate. However, my issue with this is he said he wanted to be... Here's my thing. He said he didn't have to be a hard case all the time. But not like five minutes ago, <laughs> we saw him order his dudes to bust a dude up with hammers, chain him to a furnace thing, and just light his ass on fire. That is true. We have been taking mainly more optimistic views, but only when there's no evidence to the contrary. Like most of the people we've run into, there's evidence that we've taken the optimistic view. There's no evidence that they are darker, you know, people. That is true. Maybe it was the double. I'll hold off for now because there's no need to select one right now. We haven't finished the... We haven't finished the storyline anyway. Whoa. What gives? Yeah, top marks for quantity, but so much for quality. Even my gear's in better shape. A little blackmail, a little larceny, a worthwhile scrap or two. Just like the old days. <clears throat> the blood dried not too long ago. Uh... Aw. We gotta dump this garbage. Papa Brood will be here any minute. Oh, okay.
So it might also be the people working for him. I wonder if we could go up and talk to him and be like, hey, you guys straight up murdered some dudes. They just shot a lady in the face. thing i found a dead woman in your basement now i don't suppose you had your men kill her quiet you you're scaring mary look she didn't die by my order kid take my word for it and the guilty have already been severely punished look i have my shortcomings but i don't hurt women or kids okay goodbye that's the one who did I'd it. I'd have broken all your bones, fella, if Papa Brute hadn't put you off limits. Although that is a different voice. So, okay, maybe he's telling the truth. I thought it was that dude standing there who said, yeah, I'll break all your bones. You like it here, newcomer? Well, get used to it. No one leaves Oakmont nowadays. Yeah, I was gonna say it was that it was you know that dude, but I don't know. It looks like um, yeah. I think all these people are just looking alike at this point. And to be fair, there is very little difference in the models. Crematorium, Southern Reed Heights. <laughs> uh, corner of Wayne and Phillips. <laughs> uh, what now? The crematorium's in the water? Okay. Carpenter Manor, Southern Old Grove. Okay. Goldbridge Road between Sentry and Hillside. So right up in here. Probably the biggest house, that one right there. So we need to go to both places. All right. <laughs> uh, what's that? What did I mark over here? Oh, yeah, we already did that. All right, let's go to the crematorium first. And then we can go to the manor. But you got to admit, they do dog is happy. Come on now. <laughs> to Alhazred Street. How much you want to bet the Necronomicon DLC um, takes you to this area, to this particular street? I'd be really disappointed if it didn't. over there. That looks a lot like the outfit I was wearing when we got here. All right, who's going to try to kill me now?
instantly suspicious because there's nobody else here. I locked up and left early today. The keys are on the table. P.S. This morning I heard wild beasts near the cemetery. Be careful. Ugh. There are wild beasts everywhere. You guys are not great at your jobs. Last week, person on duty, James Warren, listed the deceased. Seven unidentified corpses cremated. James H or J. Hus cremated. S. Cole to be cremated. V. Black to be cremated. Jack White to be cremated urgently. Okay. This week, person on duty. Robert Taylor. James Warren on sick leave since last week. List of the deceased. 16 unidentified corpses cremated. And M. Jane cremated. Also give me that key. Also, I didn't look to see. I'm going to come up here real quick. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I didn't look for an upper level, but there is one. I just can't reach it. They do a good job with the music. Ugh. And the sound effects, they make me paranoid. We've seen this before, dude. We've... We've heard these noises. And we've collected samples of that shit. And judging by the dried blood and the dent on this shovel, it was used as a weapon. Tried to wash the stain out, but it's still slimy. Ah, it stinks. Someone tried to wash the stain out, but it's still slimy. Ah, mm. it stinks. Ah, it reeks to high heaven. What is this stuff? Seeing anything else to click on? Ugh! What a stench! at all the logs. Oh. Aurely Ledot. Come on, dude. Fuck it, man. Let's go boiling. Bowling. Good God. Clearly missing something major here. Also, we're in the crematorium. I can get rid of this. It has to be all the way down in the basement. that uh, 
Someone tried to wash the stain out, but it's still slimy. Ah, and stinks. Ah, it reeks to high heaven. What is this stuff? Really? Maybe we need to explore the cemetery? The handle of the shovel had something on it. Well, let's check it out. Poker has got to be covered in slime. Ah, there we go. Ah. All right, you knocked that dude the fuck out. What by the angles is going on? Where, where am I? That was you getting up, knocking him the fuck out. Uh, I need to get out of here before he comes round. Ah, another one for you. Burn him first chance you get. It's urgent. Let's get a handle on what actually happened here. One. Ah, another one for you. Burn him first chance you get. It's urgent. Then we go into that room and go all the way through. What by the angles is going on? Where, where am I? I need to get out of here before he comes round. Brutus was brought in by some group who had to deal with the crematorium worker. So Brutus woke up, knocked the guy out cold, and escaped. Yep. To the mine palace. Brutus knocked out the worker to escape from the crematorium. James Warren was on duty. Okay. I need to locate James Warren. Well, right there is probably a bit of evidence that this dude may be feeling a little bit better. Or a little less evil. <laughs> If I can call it that. He didn't straight up kill the dude. He could have beat the dude to death with the shovel. So we'll stick with that for now. I can always change it right up till the end of the quest. So I imagine this means we have to go back to City Hall uh, to find this dude. Yep. I feel like we should do all of this other stuff before we go to the manor, so we know what we're dealing with when we go to the manor. Oh! We could go to the hospital, yeah. I mean, does he need urgent treatment? He was just knocked the fuck out. Okay, it does say urgent treatment, okay. I was going to say, in general, he just got knocked the fuck out. He shouldn't need to go to the hospital. Oh, what the hell, game? Game just tried to do us dirty there. Glitch me into the fucking water where there's a man-eating eel right there. But to be fair, now that I think about it, this dude did get knocked the fuck out, but with a shovel. 
not like he just got punched out. He got, he took a shovel to the head. So, okay, fair enough. <laughs> Let's wander down here. Patience. Well, first of all, there it is. A head injury from Reed Heights, right? Hey, X3105, welcome. How's it going? Uh, he shouldn't be in the morgue or the asylum. I don't think it'll be therapy. Surgery would be really weird. Uh, we finished off most of our side quests and unlocked some more outfits. And we basically, for about the last 45 minutes or so, been doing the story quest. Uh, we met the Carpenters, the which are the um, gangster family in town, the third of the grand families. Uh, we found out that he apparently thinks uh, he can apparently get people out of the city. We've learned a bit more information about Throgmorton's ancestry. Apparently his mama was a gorilla named Rosie. Um, what else? Also, the gangster we met uh, was apparently replaced by a doppelganger after, and was going to be burned. He was going to be cremated, so, yeah. Hey, there's a picture and everything. It said Rosie on it. Huh. Am I wrong about where the... No, it's Reed Heights. It's where the crematorium's from. And he'd be a patient. Maybe just after the flood. That seems really strange. But this isn't counting. Because Reed Heights is the right area. I can't search with only two. It's kind of the problem, so. So he's clearly would have to be a patient. And it would have to be after. Oh, there it goes, finally. All right. Uh, place of work, crematorium, head trauma, concussion, hospitalized, second floor of Oakmont. Why didn't that work last time? Huh, I guess I skipped something. All right, let's go talk to James Warren. Oh, my stomach. I ain't never eating leeches ever again, no sir. Yep, that's one of the outfits we unlocked. You're James Warren, right? Hey, that's me. What do you want? I'm sick, can't you see? A week ago, a group of people brought an unconscious man to the crematorium. I need to know who those people were. What makes you think I'd know that? I saw a man you, you were, were supposed, supposed to, to cremate a man listed as Jack White. He escaped, and now he wants to know what's going on. So tell me, who paid you to burn a man alive? 
How do you know about White? I talked to him. I need names, Warren. Uh, I can't. <laughs> I say anything. I'm toast. They'll certainly kill you if they find out Jack White is still alive. I can arrange that. No, please. No, I, I didn't ask their names. They're priests, but they Pri ain't from oh. St. Michael's Church, that's for sure. They were talking about the Lord of the Woods or something. Maybe from an old Oakmont church? That's all I know, I swear. Oh, well, we know where we need to go now. Where can I find this church? I don't There's know. There's only two. Some things in this borg are best left alone. Yep, there's only two churches. It's not much, but thanks. Wasn't that hard after all, was it? You got what you came for. Now leave me be. Bye. All right. The only other one is... So it's not St. Michael's, is what he said. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, there's only two churches in the whole damn place. So, okay then. However, I am going to have to call it right here as I am all out of time for today's stream. Now, just as a reminder, since uh, I will not be streaming for a couple days because tomorrow's my birthday and I'm going out of town with my fiance uh, until Wednesday. So... I will be streaming again on Thursday at the same time. I know, I know, sorry about that. I just have some things I need to take care of before I head on out to head out on my vacation. Also, thank you guys, I appreciate that. And I hope you guys all have a good day. See you on Thursday at the same time.